the only thing which we need to do is put this login button below this edit text and make it stick to the right so let's go and do that uh, let me create another method which will be called uh, create button right same steps repeat we need to make another layout params object for that button which i'm gonna call uh, login dimensions over here so let me go down and initialize this login dimensions it's gonna have wrap content in width wrap content in height all right so that is what I, this login dimensions object will define all right so let me go and copy paste the stuff next thing i need to set the text on the button by saying login dot next we need to make uh, we need to add rules this should stick to the right side of the panel and it should appear below this edit text so let's first put the part about sticking it to the right side by saying login dimensions dot add rule relative layout dot align parent right then i also say login dimensions here this should appear below this edit text right so for that i'm gonna say relative layout or below over here id for this edit text which is password value i believe so password value id should be the edit text uh, id over here there you go password value id so that's exactly what we need so here i'm gonna go here and put password value id over here all right so at this point things are almost done let me call this method create login button inside our on create method as you guys can see without with all these methods things look a lot more systematic otherwise you won't even know the kind of mess you may be having inside your on create method so that is the reason why i made all these methods all right so here add view i'm gonna call login and i'm gonna add, add login dimensions over here all right so at this point i think everything is done let me again run this this time we should see something very final all right so if you look at the output now it will look something like this you guys will be perplexed as to what is going on this login button is coming at the top we asked it to come below this edit text the reason is we have not set an id for this password edit text as you guys notice over here so let me actually put that id over here by saying password value i want to say password value id over here and then if i select it at the left side and again run it at the top now this time it should give us exactly what we want all right so there you go guys there you go this is the basic user interface constructed using java code that's a solid 120 lines of solid code on eclipse written right in front of you in this video you guys can see that right so uh, now we need to refine a lot of stuff in this to make it look just the way this looks right for starters you guys can see that this edit text and this edit text are not really uh, so good as far as the alignment is concerned here this username and this password are aligned to the right of each other in short this password is aligned to the right of this username so let's go and set that first inside our code find the password uh, text view i believe create password text view method contains this oh there it is here we need to add the rule by saying password dimensions what i want to do is i want to make sure that the right of this password dimensions text view and this username text view are aligned with each other for that i'm going to say relative layout dot align right and here i'm going to pass the id for that the id of this username text view right so the username text view is i believe username id over here so let's actually select this and run and see how this looks all right so things look good now the id and the username are aligned with each other as you guys can notice over here there is one small change that we need to do probably we need to set a layout gravity of right on this password so that it appears on the right side just like over here for that again we can go uh, to our create password edit text method over here and where sorry create password text view over here which is this password text view right so for that we find this method which says create password text view here we set the gravity for this by saying password dot set gravity i'm gonna say gravity dot right and bam we should be done with this so, so again run this okay so you guys can see now the password is towards the right side just like what we want over here now there's another thing uh, which uh, you guys have noticed over here all right so now what i need to do is if you guys notice the output over here uh, this uh, baseline for this text and this text is not aligned so for that i'm gonna bring this edit text uh, baseline to this level all right so for that we'll go to the edit text over here which is create username edit text here we add the rule by saying align baseline by saying align username value dimensions dot add rule relative layout align baseline so for this again we need to pass an id we need to make sure that this edit text is aligned to this guy right so this guy who is that guy it is username id over here right so let's go and save that again and now the same thing uh, let's go and run this and see how this looks so now if you guys notice things look a little good because this baseline and if you write hey over here and this baseline both of them are aligned because of that align baseline rule we just put here however if you write hey this uh, what you call align uh, baseline is not the same right so for that again we need to change this to make sure that this edit text is aligned to the baseline of this text view for that i'm gonna go to the edit text which is my password edit text add the rule over here by saying i'm gonna give the id of the password text view over here so that this edit text is aligned to the basement of this right 
it's password id i believe again select this click here click run at the top all right so now if you guys notice things look a little good we have this uh, what you call this aligned baseline on for both of them that looks good right all right so in the next video we are going to continue further from where we have left if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next bit have a nice day